It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC East. It's the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it will be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team, and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, this is a team that is built to win now. They feel they have all the pieces in place. What say you, CD? I say that exactly. They've got everything that you're looking for, and they're probably operating under a mentality of no roadblocks, no excuses. Let's get after it. Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year. And they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Into the air right away is Allen. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. To throw, it's Allen. And Diggs has it. And Diggs will have a Bills first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run for the first time with James Cook. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 32 yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Allen now on first down. Setting up the screen for Cook. Shifts by him. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 
That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guy's pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Back to the ground, Cook. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. This is second and eight. Finding Knox there, complete. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Allen now looks to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Look like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there. And the defense was ready to jump in and deny it. And they did. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. Well, they didn't get in the end zone, but pretty good balance there on the opening drive between the run and the pass. Yeah, I think that that was probably what they wanted to get accomplished right out of the gate. Throw the ball with success, run it, of course, to set the tone. So if you saw the offensive coordinator's play sheet, probably wrote himself a little note. Exactly what we wanted to do. Probed it early and got it done. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. And from the 34, here's second and four. They run once more with Stevenson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. No surprise to see Stevenson making that type of a play. People who know him well, unsurprised to see him over 1,000 yards this past season. He's a bruiser who was also fourth among backs with 69 catches. He can do it all in the New England offense. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's got it and he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Now left side on the swing pass. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. 
He was unable to shed free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here taken in by Parker. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now Jones. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 of the 15. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid they've been more than solid they've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket able to look around find his target and deliver he's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle thanks fellas let's keep it going up the middle here's Stevenson they stopped after only a yard taking it down to the 14 He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Throwing Jones. Over the middle, he's got Parker. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Elliott. We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. And they would not be denied on the ground. Powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Throwing on first down is Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end Knox. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. First down, Bill. First down, here's the run with Cook. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring him down to the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play. And we just saw an example of it right there. On second down, here's Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Getting the ball is Cook running left. Oh, nice move. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Again, it's Cook. And he works three. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the covers because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. The kick by Bass is good. And they'll get it back with it a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Pats at the line, ready to go. 
that last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Back to throw. Jones. Rush coming and he's taken down. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync. Dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating from the gun, Jones. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. Deontay Hardy back deep. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And after the field goal last time, let's we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They so <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. 54 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A strong play from last year's second round pick, who didn't get a lot of carries as a rookie with the Bills, only 89. But he made the most of them, though. A 5.7 yard average, good enough to lead all running backs had he qualified. This is a young man who's proved he's worthy of a more feature role in the Buffalo offense. Allen, and he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On play action, Allen escapes the sack. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. From the 42-yard line, here's a second down and nine. And again, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Guys are the one that you on his defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Throwing his Allen on third. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Cook is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Give him two yards on that one, second and goal now. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Again, it's Cook, and this time he's in for a Buffalo touchdown. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And he puts this one through as the lead moves to 13-7. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now Jones throwing on first down. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. 
How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Jones to throw on third down. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Here's Bryce Beringer on now to punt. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. James Cook running back out now. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Now Allen. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. New England's offense set to go. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Von Miller still rushing the passer at an elite level well into his 30s. Only 11 games last year, already in the top 20 all-time in sacks and could make a run at the top 10 this season with more plays like that. Throwing on second and long. Jones. And incomplete. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move him to third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Running left is Stevenson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Here's Bryce Barringer now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. It's now second and six. Now Allen. 
It's complete to Diggs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And Cook has it. Left side. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And behind the chain, second and 13. Allen to throw once more. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. And a smart play there is probably saying, I wish I would have done that the last drive instead of throwing the interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this will stay a one-score game as the lead will hold at six. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And that's going to be incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports halftime report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. Escapes the defender. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. 
Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember, they're toward the end of the second quarter. The opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Jones now on first down. No, oh, and that is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Off-play action. Jones. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Throwing to start the drive. Allen going deep for Diggs. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Now that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Allen will try again on second down. And Diggs has it. Into space at the 45. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From midfield, here's Allen. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of it, it's low and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Again, they'll throw with Allen. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball down. See that you want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. 
get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Here's Allen on first and 10. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 28-yard line. Second down in a yard. On play action, Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm. This is the number one thing they look for in the quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Allen going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now a second and ten. Cook up the gut. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They try again with Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Cook will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. So now Allen and the Bills going to stay out and go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. Well, they couldn't be happy that they were having to stop a two-point conversion because that means they gave up a touchdown. But a little solace there. You saw some good gang tackling stacking him up before he can get to the end zone. We talk about offensive units putting in more two-point period sessions in practice. Defensively, do you do the same? Absolutely. You have to because you never know how aggressive these offenses are going to be in games nowadays.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Terrell Bernard is in on the tackle. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Stevenson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 64 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Now Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play there for New England. 51 yards. Oh, man. Disappointment that he couldn't finish that off in the end zone. What an effort there. Doing all he can to get to the pylon. And he's going to wind up out of bounds just short. But a huge play there. Going to set him up for first and goal from very short range. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Now Elliott. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Throwing Jones. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. James Cook in the Buffalo offense returning to work now. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so is offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. <laughs> Those are some massive men. They start the drive with Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them, melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Exactly. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A gain of three on the play. And the Bills first down. That's the end of the third quarter of play with the score Bills 19, Patriots 7. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass. Uses blockers well and pick up the first down. Allen's throw is complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's Allen. Completes it to Davis. And Davis will have a Bills first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. And again, it's Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. And this offense on third down today, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and ten. Allen off the play fake. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on the punt for the first time this afternoon. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Patriots take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Bourne going to go in motion left. 
He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. To throw on second down. Jones. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Stevenson now on first and 10. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 75 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Kendrick Bourne. 34 yards, and the Patriots have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they fought half the battle here, but they're still down. Plenty of work still left for them, but they delivered in the first step in their comeback attempt. Now Ryland for the PAT. And this is back to a five-point game. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Kendrick Bourne who was able to cap things off with a touchdown. So after the field goal, Riley back out as he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone. Not a Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Play action. Now it's Allen. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now a second and six to throw. It's Allen. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. 
the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five, and they will take over first and 10. So the Patriots coming out now. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Another carry for their leader, and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue being productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Back to Stevenson on first down. And they can't bring him down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. They'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Off the play fake, Jones. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And here we are in the fourth quarter, Paul, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. Now second and four. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Jones. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Patriots have taken a fourth-quarter lead. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers, what does that mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right, who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, what we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. Touchdown, back out to kick it away.
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now down 20 to 19. A little under a minute 50 remaining. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. Now Allen. He gets this complete to Diggs. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Here's a second and seven. Here's Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Throwing Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Very sharp here to start this drive. Three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here to throw is Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Allen. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Throwing is Allen. Out to the left. He's got his tight end now. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. So now Allen and the Bills going to stay out and go for two. To throw is Allen. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he 
he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So now all eyes on the Patriots, trailing by a touchdown. A little over 40 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Jones. Finding Bourne here over the middle. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Now Jones. His throw incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and ten now. Here's Jones. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his head. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. To throw is Jones. for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear the Bills are going to win the football game. Now that's just simply good coaching and excellent technique on that play. You know why? Because wow. everyone wants to rush the passer when they want to throw the football. But you're not always going to get there. So what are you taught to do? When the ball's finally thrown, get your hands up in the passing lanes. And they batted that one away. No, 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 no. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Just about do it. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And I'll tell you what, it's not been with a whole lot of frequency over the last couple of decades or so that teams have come into New England and escaped with a victory, but that's what happened here. It almost doesn't feel real, does it? <laughs> We've seen it so few times. That actually happened, right? We saw it. They came out of there with a win. And on the other side, in that locker room, you know what they're saying? We didn't really.